Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because the bills are gonna pay by themselves. Help assist out, like I'm serious, help me out. The album is coming in like a week, like next week, my album comes out, which is crazy. Pre-order it, go buy it when it comes out, <laughs> link in the description. So I know my scheduling for my videos has been so off these past couple of days, it's just because I've been so insanely busy with so many things right now regarding the album. I'm doing so much more for this album than I did for my past album. I've also been working day and night endlessly the whole time working on the really big announcement that's coming this friday wink wink um at 10 a.m pst 12 at 1 p.m <laughs> 1 p.m. EST and if you live anywhere else in the world check your local timings. I'm so excited for this announcement I cannot wait for you guys to see it and to hear about it. I'm just so excited I've worked so hard on this. I hope you guys like it. It was aside from my scheduling today's video is a makeup review I know me a makeup review what I know <laughs> as shocked as you may be I do actually like makeup and I appreciate makeup quite a lot. I have a ton of makeup too much so I have this big Jeffree Star makeup bag, and then I have another basket full of skin products. By the way, that's only highlighter and brushes. Skin products here, and then I have powders here, brow pencil, more brushes. I have a lot. I have a lot of makeup. And today we're going to be reviewing a luxury makeup product of the Sicily Stilo Lumiere, which is this big bad boy here, although it's pretty small. It is pretty small. This is a concealing pen. You can think of it as a dupe for the Maybelline Age Rewind. It has that twisty pen right here. I'm not gonna twist it. It has way too little product. I don't wanna twist it, but it's a dupe for the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's that pencil twisty brush. I guess it's kind of like the YSL Touche Eclat as well. But we're gonna talk all things this concealer right here. The pros, the cons, what I recommended, what I not recommended. If you wanna hear that, then keep on watching this let me show you how it looks so this is how it looks like again it's like the maybelline age rewind you can tell i've used quite a bit of it now let me start off with the elephant in the room first of all there is 0 0.08 fluid ounces which is 2.5 milliliters which is a very diminutive amount compared to other concealers that I have. Even my La Mer one has so much more than that, but it is a very, very small amount, which respectively so, because you don't need a lot for this product. However, the other big elephant in the room is the shade range. So, there is, I don't know if I should say it. You know what I'm gonna say? It. There's four shades. <laughs> there is four shades to this product. There is light, pale, supreme pale, and mega pale. I have the shade pale, which is number three. So there is four shades. Let's talk about it because I think there's some explaining to do with the shade range, with a lot of luxury products actually. Sicily is a French brand. I think French, yeah. Sicily is a French brand. They make all of their products in France. However, their main demographic when it comes to makeup products, not so much skincare, but more makeup products is Korea, Japan, Australia, you know, the Asian countries and Australia as well. They send a lot of their products to Australia and Korea before they ever see the light of day here in America. And that's not just Sicily, that's a lot of products as well. Clay de Peau is extremely dominant in Japan. They are the number one skincare in Japan. Number one. I'm sorry, I saw that goop sketch from SNL and I literally tears were streaming down my face. Clé de Peau is the number one best skincare in um, Japan. La Mer sends a lot of their products to Korea and Australia before they even hit the market here in America. And Sisley caters a lot to the Korean culture. Now the reason for those four shades, let me talk you through it. Um, obviously here in America, there is more than four shades in America, um, but the culture of makeup is a lot more different here in America than it is in Korea and in those Asian countries. For example, here in America, it's all about getting that tan, getting that bronze glow, getting that, especially here in LA, getting that beachy glow, looking like you've been at the beach all day when in reality, you've been working at home the whole day. It's about being bronzy and glowy and the beachy glow. And that's why there's a lot more, I don't wanna say darker shades, but there's a lot more tan shades here when you see foundation ranges and concealer ranges, you see a lot more tan shades because people are getting a tan a lot of the times all over the country. 
and people you know are a little more bronzy they're a little more glowy they're a little more tan whereas in korea in korean culture that's not the case in korea it isn't let's get bronzy let's get glowy in korea it's how can we get more pale how can we be more pale how can we make our skin lighter how can we be, how can we be dare i say it more white they're all about being more pale than their natural complexion they want that pale porcelain baby doll face that baby doll porcelain glow they're not about the bronze they're about the pale porcelain glow which is why the shade range in a lot of luxury products is very minimal when it comes to you know shade you know foundation shades like myself or people who are of a deeper complexion than me or people who are around the complexion that i am which is why there isn't that many shades for a lot more tan medium and deep skin tones and luxury makeup but it's not to say that there shouldn't be darker and deeper skin complexions and makeup here in america I do think there definitely should be because I feel like at this point it isn't that it's about inclusivity, it's the new norm. So I do wish that maybe some luxury makeup brands would be a little bit better with their shade ranges. La Mer is doing a good job. It's not great, but it's not bad either. However, enough about the shade range. Let's talk about the mechanisms of this product. So again, like I said, it is a twisty, I'm not going to twist it, two little products. It's a twisty one. Um, I think there's some product in here, so I'm going to show you how you apply this. You really don't need a lot. You need very little, and I do recommend you put this on with your fingers if you want a much more um, smoothened out complexion. If you do it with a brush, it'll just spread the product too much to the point where you won't know what to do with it. So this is how Sicily recommends it, by the way. They recommend one dot here, one dot here, one dot here, one dot here, and then you blend that out with your finger. You can't really tell on camera, but I, it's a really sheer application. I will say that. It's not full extreme coverage. It's a sheer application. You can kind of see it on my face, but what I like, it's not necessarily that it's sheer, but I like the performance of this product throughout the day. I've worn this product for long periods of time. I've put it on at 10 a.m. and took it off at midnight and it looks incredible and it looks amazing it does not crease it does not move it stays there once you lock it in there with setting spray it stays there the whole day also i think i forgot to mention it's 65 dollars with tax it's 71 dollars but thankfully i had a 20 dollar coupon at nordstrom so it turned out to be 51 dollars instead of 71 dollars so it is not a cheap product so that's my one downfall is that it's not cheap and it comes with a very little product but i guess that's their marketing tactic to get you to buy another one as soon as possible which sicily i don't know why you need the money you're like a multi-million dollar brand you don't think you need more money <laughs> overall yes it is sheer application but over the right foundation i think it is an incredible finish i think it's flawless i just feel like it does something to my skin it does something to my under eyes that no other concealer can really do at the very moment i do own like one drugstore concealer and like three luxury concealers this one the la mer one i own a kkw concealer and the burt's bees concealer and none of them have the same finish as this one in particular does it just has something special in the ingredients and i just think it's wonderful and it's amazing now do i recommend this for everybody no obviously not because this isn't for everybody as unfortunate as it is there's only four shades so if you have a deeper complexion than me i do not recommend you getting this concealer because i mean unless you like that really really bright <laughs> finish then go for it but it is it's very light it's very light and it's a very pale consistency now if you are of my um f shade range or if you are lighter than me i do recommend you using this if you want that under eye to be a little more bright than the rest of your complexion i think it's a great product it is 71 dollars, so it is definitely an investment they do have another formula of concealer again with the same four shades <laughs> They do have another formula of concealer, which is a lot more different. It's definitely a lot more, um, it's a lot less practical than this one. This one you can just put in your purse. The other one is a lot less practical. It comes in a squeezy tube with a metal tip that decompresses the puffy eyes. And it comes with its own brush. That one is $107. 
Um, I haven't tried it out, so I wouldn't know. But overall, I think this product works really well. I've used it a few times already, and I don't know if I'm half full or if I'm almost done. Because obviously it's like a silver, it's a silver pen, but hopefully I'm not done just yet. I approve and I don't approve for the reasons that I told you. But anyways, that is it for this makeup review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up. And remember, come back on Friday for the big announcement. And as well, subscribe. Because again, the bills do not get paid for themselves. Help assist out. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. I'm not kidding. Tomorrow, one more video. Goodbye.